Between 2008 and 2010, Texas spent more Medicaid dollars on braces for poor children than the other nine most populous states' programs combined. Now, the state is on a mission to reclaim hundreds of millions of misspent Medicaid dollars. So, how'd Texas get in this mess in the first place? It began with good intentions. In 2007, Texas agreed in a legal settlement to increase poor children's access to dental care by raising Medicaid payments for a handful of dental services. It worked. By 2010, Texas children on Medicaid were more likely to receive dental care than children in any other state's Medicaid program. But something didn't add up. Texas hadn't raised payments for orthodontic services, but the number of kids on Medicaid receiving braces had exploded. To qualify for braces under Texas Medicaid rules, a child's teeth must be so crooked that it causes difficulty chewing. Dentists and orthodontists must submit x-rays, molds of the teeth, and a dental score sheet to prove the treatment is medically necessary. Turns out, the company Texas contracted with to process Medicaid claims was not thoroughly reviewing whether braces were medically necessary. In 2008, Texas auditors discovered that the company, called the Texas Medicaid Healthcare Partnership, had only one dentist on staff to evaluate thousands of claims each month, and workers without dental licenses were approving most of the claims for dental care. The problems persisted. In 2012, auditors found workers were still rubber stamping forms, and the company hadn't hired additional dental experts. The lax oversight had devastating consequences. Poor children were forced to undergo unnecessary, sometimes painful dental procedures like root canals, and taxpayers lost millions of dollars. Years later, Texas is still cleaning up the mess. Spending on orthodontics has dropped dramatically, but so has spending on diagnostic and preventive dental care for poor children, and there are fewer dentists to provide those services. The state is attempting to recoup money from dentists and orthodontists by withholding millions in Medicaid payments while it investigates allegations of fraud. Investigators are also still looking into whether the company violated its contract with the state. For more information, check out the Tribune's extended coverage.